too late to start your career in cybersecurity. Are you too old? Hi everyone, I'm Venetia. This is Cyber Queen, where we talk all about cybersecurity and how you can succeed as a woman in cybersecurity. This is a question that I get asked so often. I want to start in cybersecurity, but am I too old? I am 43 and I just don't know whether I can still start in cybersecurity. I get it on a daily basis and the answer always remains the same. And from my perspective, the answer is no. So I'm not gonna, you know, drag this out for you and let you sit here and wait till the end for that answer because the answer is no. You are not too old to start your career in cybersecurity. There are things that you can consider and there's things that we will expand on. If you wanna keep watching this video, then you'll learn what those other things are and you'll know what the other things are that you have to think about and why the answer is no. But if you just came for that answer, there you have it, the answer is no. You are not too old to start your career in cybersecurity. So firstly, there are currently around 3.5 million job openings. So in reality, we need people to fill those jobs, meaning that nobody's too old to enter this space. We need people, we need people with different skill sets and with different types of experience to come into the cybersecurity industry and bring fresh perspectives. Now, that opening could be filled by someone who has little cybersecurity knowledge, but a lot of industry knowledge or work experience knowledge. Not all cybersecurity jobs are open to newcomers in the industry and it's just people who have just studied and now they're getting into tech. That scenario does not accommodate everyone. So there's a lot of jobs and roles where we need people with work experience. We need people with different mindsets and different skills to come into cybersecurity and bring different perspectives to help us combat the issue of cybercrime. And that's exactly where you can fit in. So you may be 45 and you are currently in the financial services industry. With your industry knowledge, you can transition into cybersecurity by adding a few skills, a little bit of cybersecurity knowledge to your existing skill set, and you can transition into cybersecurity and help us fight cybercrime in financial services because you have the financial services context, and that's what it's all about. You have skills that are transferable skills that you can use to get into tech and to get into cybersecurity, and those are the skills we need and we want. So, if you are transitioning into cybersecurity, should you start from zero? No, you should not start from zero. Even if you are a logistics manager, you have many years of experience in logistical field and logistical type work that could benefit the cybersecurity industry. And therefore, adding certain basic cybersecurity skills and knowledge areas into your existing portfolio of skills can get you a managerial job in cybersecurity because you don't necessarily have to start with hands-on keyboard type configuration. You can also start on the more business side and more risk management side of cybersecurity. And so to transition into cybersecurity is not only for beginners. It's not only for people who's just looking to start their career. It is also for people who have years of experience as an accountant, as a lawyer, as a business administrator, to then use those skills, add some security context to that and move into cybersecurity. So no starting from zero is required here. The reality is, if we are going to effectively combat the problem of cybercrime, we have to think about this holistically. Cyber criminals come from diverse backgrounds, they're various ages, um, they're male, they're female, you know, 
your average person can be a person sitting there hacking trying to break into an organization etc and so for that reason we also need that we need people that have experience in another industry to come in and help the more technical hands-on keyboard cyber professionals understand different industries and contextualize those different industries contextualize those different businesses and then fight against the issue of cybercrime because then it becomes effective if we have people male female um, however you identify from a gender perspective however you identify from a race perspective from a background perspective however you identify if we have those different people of different ages different countries different governments different institutions if we have all of these people in the industry of cybersecurity fighting against cybercrime, then we stand a much better chance of alleviating some of the problems that we face in this industry. Because at the moment, all we have is a lot of gaps, a lot of uh, lack in diversity. You know, the industry is trying to transform in terms of diversity, inclusion, women in the industry, etc. But um, a lot of the time there is only younger people and newbies trying to enter this industry and it really introduces that contextual and experience gap. And that's why, you know, it's really critical that if you have existing work experience and you're looking for an exciting new opportunity, then cybersecurity could be from you and you do not have to start from zero. And that's important to understand. So you can start at various points in cybersecurity, right? And you also don't have to start, if you are looking to transition, how you would transition is still, again, you would choose an area where you want to focus. And if you don't have technical skills or you don't come from an existing technical background, then that's fine. It doesn't mean you don't have troubleshooting and problem solving skills. You may have been troubleshooting and pro problem solving on physical components like machines and cars and automation systems, etc. So it's a skill that you have. You just need to transition that skill for the use of cybersecurity. And that's, that is perfectly fine. And those are valid skills to have and those are required skills to have. So look at what you want to do in cybersecurity. So do you want to be on the uh, risk analysis side? Do you want to be on the information security side? Do you want to be on the reporting side, on the strategic side, on the architecture side? You know, decide where you want to be within, within cybersecurity and then start to work towards that. So if you want to be on the risk assessment side, then doing something like a C risk certification from ISACA or even your CISSP certification suddenly sets you up for a very lucrative career in cybersecurity because now you have experience in financial services and you've just added a CISSP certification to your portfolio and there you go. Now suddenly you are a sought after candidate in the industry of cybersecurity. So think where it is that you want to focus. Think how long do you want to spend studying before getting into the industry um, sort of work out what that timeline is and then think what is the or research rather what is the best certification or qualification that you need to do to move into that space and C risk is one of them CISM is one of them um, certified information security manager that CISM is one of them and in CISSP as well it is a major and well recognized certification in the industry and you do not have to be hands-on technical to take any of those certifications they are to the more advanced side of certifications but they can really really make you a sought after candidate in the industry and and ultimately that's what you want if you want to pivot into a higher level within cybersecurity. All right, so to summarize, you can be in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, in your 50s and you can still start your career in cybersecurity because if you are older and you have work experience and different industry experience, you bring that to the table and that's valid, it's important and it's critical to have in cybersecurity. You do not have to start from zero. 
And you can start with certifications that would really, really set you up to be a sought after candidate in this industry. All right, so I hope that answers that question for everybody. You are not too old to start your career in cybersecurity. You are the only limitation for you if you are limiting yourself by age, um, because there really is no age limit in this industry. Anybody can start in this industry with the right drive, determination, and wanting to get into the industry. That is it for this video, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe for more cybersecurity videos, leave a like, comment, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.